Hey everyone, my name is Matt and welcome back to the channel. And we've had some really big news happen over the weekend with Jonathan Majors. If you don't know who that is, he recently starred in Creed 3. He was Kang in Quantumania, Ant-Man and the Wasp. And he is supposed to be playing a very big role in the Marvel Universe going forward. Well, that might all be up in the air if these allegations are true. And let me state that very, very clear. because I have seen a lot of people jumping to conclusions when it comes to this. He is innocent until proven guilty. Now, obviously, we will go over the allegations here in just a second. If those are accurate and true, I 100% agree that, you know, you shouldn't support anybody that does these types of things and they shouldn't get any work. But until it is proven by evidence, then we have to understand that he is innocent until proven guilty. Unfortunately, that's not really a thing anymore in our society. We've seen that time and time again. And I have seen a lot of that online. But getting back to the actual article, it says here, Jonathan Majors has been charged with assault harassment by New York District Attorney. He was charged with two counts of assault in the third degree, aggravated harassment in the second degree, attempted assault in the third degree, and harassment in the second. So to break down exactly what happened, they are claiming that he had gotten into an altercation with his girlfriend and, quote, put his hands on her neck, causing bruising and substantial pain. The defendant struck her about the face with an open hand, causing substantial pain and a laceration behind her ear. He also grabbed her hand, causing swelling, bruising, and substantial pain to her finger. His attorneys are saying otherwise and are saying, quote, Jonathan Majors is completely innocent and is provable the victim of the altercation with a woman he knows. We are quickly gathering and presenting evidence to the district attorney with the expectation that all charges will be dropped imminently. The evidence includes video footage from the vehicle where this episode took place, witness testimony from the driver and others who both saw and heard the episode, and most importantly, two written statements from the woman recanting these allegations. All the evidence proves that Mr. Majors is entirely innocent and did not assault her whatsoever. So a lot to unpack there. And it seems like, according to their attorney, that this will all go away and be dropped. But when these things happen, when these things come out, there is going to be a backlash of some type because if these things are true, this is a very serious matter. And we already see one type of fallout occurring with here it states, Jonathan Majors, U.S. Army commercial pulled after actor's arrest for alleged assault. So here's the official statement from the U.S. Army regarding the ad. It says, the U.S. Army is aware of the arrest of Jonathan Majors, and we are deeply concerned by the allegations surrounding his arrest. We recently released two ads in which Mr. Majors appears. While Mr. Majors is innocent until proven guilty, prudence dictates that we pull our ads until the investigation into these allegations is complete. Now, I don't think that's cancel culture, right? I think they're just trying to play it safe because if it is true, they don't want uh, this being the spokesperson of recruitment right now. The recruitment numbers are extremely low. I can't imagine why, but it was important enough to bring up because like I said, uh, these are very, very serious allegations and this affects a lot of things. He's a rising star. He's been in a lot of movies. He's actually a pretty good actor from what I've seen. I know apparently some other people have come out, some other directors or something like that, backing up this type of behavior from the past, apparently. It's always funny to me, though. It's coincidentally, these things start to come out after something like this happens, never prior, but... You know, that's why I take that with a grain of salt, and it is what it is. It is crazy to me, though, that this has happened. This affects Marvel going forward. And again, we have to wait and see, right? He is not guilty of anything yet. These are just charges. We have seen these types of things in the past where people have jumped the gun. They want him canceled. They want him gone. And then it turns out he actually didn't do anything wrong. So I hope this didn't actually happen, that this is just a miscommunication of some kind. But we will have to wait and see because this is a very serious matter. It's a very interesting matter. And like I said, I already have seen a lot of people on Twitter jump the gun about this. And then we have some other people kind of coming forward saying that, oh, this type of behavior happens all the time with him. I just find that always odd and hilarious that it comes out after something like this happens and nothing has ever been said prior. Find that very convenient. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. I always love to hear your thoughts. If you like this video, please go ahead and hit that like button. I would greatly appreciate it. And until next time, take care.